Hey, it's the founder of Developers Academy and you are watching Code Hangout Show. In this series, in this episode and the next few episodes, we are going to talk about everything about 3D Touch in iOS. Yes, 3D Touch is the first touch for iPhone 6S and iPhone 6S Plus. This feature, it adds another layer of interaction, another layer of interactivity into your app using force touch. And we can see that Apple integrates all of their uh, software using force touch or 3D touch. So we should do that in our app also, right? So have you ever wondered how you can do that? Let's do this in this series. On the screen right now, you will see the complete videos uh, the complete project that we will develop this app together in this series and you can see uh, on the interaction we can pick to see the photo we can pop it to see the complete photo view controller or the details of that post we can uh, using shortcuts in the home screen and from those shortcuts we can do some more interactions adding so much more convenience to your app so let's do this here is the start a project when you download the start a, start a project right down below just click the button right down below and you will text to my page and you can see the start project once you open it it's a very simple master detail view controller and forgive my voice because i have a little cold uh, so uh, from this master detail view controller we display the beautiful photo mania app when we click onto a photo we can see the details of the photo okay and what we want to do is we want to add another functionality into this in this video we want to do something like when we just force touch we just tap a little bit harder and we can pick that is the term we can pick we can see the full screen of this image right here Okay, so let's do this. Here is the starter project, Xcode project. When you download it, we just have a photo view, tail view controller. Corresponds is the controller for this screen. And this screen is the photo view controller. Cool? All right, now in order to have the 3D touch in your app, you will have to first make sure that we want to register for this app or this controller is 3D touch. But the problem is, not every devices have the functionality of 3d touch so we have to check for that so in the photos tail view controller which is the class here this class we want to have the pick right when the user tap harder on a cell then we will pick the photo then we will see the photo in the view did load i will check if the trade collection it has it, this is the property of a view controller that we can see literally like what device we are running the app on and we can have some property of this also so this trade collection we can inspect if force touch capability is available equals equals dot available then it means that this device supports force touch or 3d touch now i know that on the apple watch this says that it is force touch on iPhone, this says 3D Touch, but let's call that 3D Touch, okay? Because we are working on an iPhone. So if this device is available for us to use uh, 3D Touch, then I will register for previewing with delegates. This is another property, another extension of the UI view controller in iOS 9. It allows us to implement the delegate of the UI preview um, of the previewing with for this UI view controller. It allows us to pick that a cell and we will display the whole view controller in a screen. And what happens is the whole thing, like this photo tail view controller, it will blur it out. Okay. So we want to have this self, this photo's tail view controller to be the delegate of the previewing, okay? And the source view is our table view because we want to have the tail view to be blurred out. Cool? Then after that, Xcode will get us as always when we declare that we will conform to any delegate or protocol, then it means that we'll have to implement the protocol 
And as always, when we want to implement a protocol, the methods in the protocol, I will just use an extension. So we have an extension of here so that we can factor the code. I will extend the photos table view controller and it is of typed, it will conform to UI view controller previewing delegate. That is the pro protocol new to UI view controller in iOS 9. Okay, so in this protocol, let's have a look at the interface of that. I will hold the option, uh, I hold the command key, click onto this UI view controller previewing delegate and it will load a little bit and you can see that this method, there are two methods, public methods that we'll have to implement. It is available only in iOS 9.0 and above, okay? And one of those is previewing context, view controller, previewing context, view controller for location and we'll give it a location, okay? We will implement that. The next one is previewing context, previewing context, commit, view controller okay so two methods the first one allows us to specify what is the view controller that we want to display the second one is we how when you are given that controller how you will interact how you can handle you can handle that view controller so let's talk more about that in details okay i will go back in here i will have a uh previewing uh, context previewing context okay and this is of typed previewing context view controller uh, view controller for location okay I hope that my code doesn't have anything good <laughs> doing the videos so this is another method because this method it asks us to at this location see we are given a location when the user picks, like when the heart hits heart on the device, we are given that location on the view, on the table view, okay? Because we specify that the force touch available on our source view, which is the table view, we can know what is the touch that the user force touch on that, okay? At this location. And when we have that, we will have to return a UI view controller for our for our delegates so that it can preview it can show the preview screen okay right now let's just return nil because I want to write another method so that Xcode will shut off the arrows okay the next one is previewing context commit view view controller to commit this one with this one you have to do something with the view controller, which is this view controller to commit one, okay? So what we will do here, this view controller to commit, we can either uh, pop it up or, now this method here is, we call that pop, okay? And this method is responsible for the pick. The pick here is, it just shows very fast of the previewing screen the pop is will pop out the whole view controller what we can do here is we can put that view controller on a navigation stack or we can modally display that right now later on we will put it on a navigation uh, stack because we are using a navigation controller here right so let's talk about the first one the picky the picky first from this location I want to have guard let which is the new syntax I haven't made a video on this but let's I will do it in very sure soon okay so this is like converts the reverse of the if statement we have the guard let index path we want to know at this specific location at this specific location what is the index path of the row that the user selected okay so the index path is table view dot index path for row at point and the point here is this location after we got the index path then i will have the cell the cell here is table view dot cell for row at index path okay and this is uh let's see index path okay and then when we have the index path we have the cell i will have a else statement Otherwise, I will just 
return okay we'll just get out of this or return nil get out of this method because we don't have an index path and we don't have a cell now in your app maybe you have a collection view you can do the very basic the same thing you may have a custom view you can do it okay most of the time people use a table view a collection view or some custom collection view because if you because the only i can i can virtually think of the only way the the only reason that we use this kind of interaction is we have a master and details so that we can have a very fast way to pick out the content right then we want to use that if we already displays the whole thing then maybe we don't want to use pick and pop okay so after we got the index path then i want to have the identifier of the controller of the view controller that we want to display and that is in this case the photo view controller which is the detail view controller that we want to do and then after that i will have the photo vc photo view controller correspond or responsible for this cell okay the photo displayed in this cell so if this cells right here the first one has a photo view controller which is this one have the author the image the full image and some text some caption okay so our photo view controller here is the storyboard dot instantiate view controller with identifier identifier like that okay and i will cast it as a photo view controller so i will have i will instantiate a new view controller for the photo view controller from the storyboard otherwise if we cannot have that then i will just return nil Let's just return nil over there. So now outside of this guard statement, maybe I spelled this wrong, okay. Outside of this guard statement, it means that we don't we already have the photo view controller. If we do, then I will have the photo view controller dot photo is cell dot photo, which is the photo that we are trying to display. Okay, this cells over here. Let me check. Oh, okay. So now this at this time this cell it is UI table view cell. So I also have to cast it as a photo table view cell. And then now we have that. Okay, it is your custom cell over there. Cool. Next, we want to have the previewing pre previewing context dot uh, previewing context dot source right which is the size of the previewing um, screen so right now let's just have it to be cell dot frame which is the frame of the screen okay because this one now this one i will use the standard the default like the default size of the previewing screen you can configure that also okay so let's run the project to see how it looks like right now you can run the project already so if if i run it right now on a simulator nothing will happen although i'm running this on a macbook pro with force touch trackpad but nothing happened because simulator doesn't have the the ability to use force touch so and obviously the mac and if you want to test out this project you will need an iphone 6s or iphone 6s plus and i think that there are some resources on the internet showing you how to do it in the simulator in a very very limited way on so so test it out okay on the screen right now is how our project looks like right now so we when we just a little, a little bit harder press harder on the cell then we can pick out we can preview the image that is wonderful now in the next few videos we are going to press harder on the cell on the preview and we'll pop out the whole thing so let's do that i will see you in the next video